welcome all of you see this question program to input a number and find the factors of it input a number and find the fact of it factors of it here in this question you have only one input that is a number and you have to find the factors of that number so how will you find out the factors of a number see one example i am going to take so here i am going to take one example here i am going to write 50 as the number what are the factors of this 50 see this is example what are the factors of 50 so factors of 50 we know that so 2 is the factor 5 is another factor 10 25 okay so these are the different factors of 50 which we already studied in fourth standard now here i am going to give another example what are the factors of this number here i am going to write one example here so our number is this one six four three two eight seven so what are the factors of this number can you say it's too difficult okay so how will you find the factors of a number just think about that what's the logic behind or in in your max or what you studied based on that how will you find the factors of a given number so you can find the factors of a given number as divide the given number so here we are to find out the factors of a number and increase the size now to find the factors of this 50 you have to divide the given number with the 1 to 49 see the number is 50 that is why it told you 1 to 49 given number is if it is 50 divide the given number with the 1 to 49 and check the remainder if the remainder is 0 that means that number is a factor if you are dividing 50 with 1 take its remainder if the remainder is 0 then you can say 1 is a factor divide 50 with 2 take its remainder check the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 0 then i can say 2 is a factor divide 50 with 3 take its remainder check the remainder if it is 0 then i can say 3 is a factor same way you have to divide that number with the till 49 that means if the number is n if your number is n then you have to divide that n with the 1 to n minus 1 1 to n minus 1 so that is why i told you if the number is 50 you have to divide number 50 with 1 to 49 till 1 to 49 divide 50 and if the remainder is 0 then you can say it is a factor otherwise that is not a factor there is a logic behind it so see your num if your number is n you have to divide n with the 1 2 3 till n minus 1 there is a logic so i will try out that program here in python i will open the python here screen is open ah see i am the first step you have to input the number which you want to find out the factor so i am going to input the number in the input and enter the number see that you given the message proper message you given you are entering one in one number over there and that number is stored inside the variable n okay it's clear now next step you have to divide n with the 1 2 3 4 till n minus 1 see then you have to divide it with 1 2 3 till n minus 1 so how can you do this one is it possible to divide it individually by using different different step can you divide it is not possible so if your number is 100 we cannot divide it with 100 times that in 100 times division is not possible so here just think about the logic you have to divide n with the 1 to n minus 1 that means you have to generate the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 you have to generate the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 which we already studied in previous class how to generate the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 so i am going to write the first value of this variable as 1 that is the first number we need so that is there stored inside the variable c 
and till where you want to generate we studied the while loop inside by using the while loop we can generate the natural numbers from 1 to till wherever you are saying so i am going to generate the num natural numbers from 1 to n minus 1 so i can give the condition here it is c capital c capital c less than or equal to n minus 1 c just check it whether you understood or not so when c is 1 you will get the first number you can update the c here so you will get c as 2 again you will get c as 3 that procedure will be repeated till n c become n minus 1 when c is n you will come out of the loop so that is the logic behind it so using the for also using the while loop you can generate the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 now the next step you have to divide the given number with these numbers divide the given number with these natural numbers so i am going to use the if statement and i have to check whether the remainder is zero or not you can do it by using two different statement or by using single statement. Here I am going to use a single statement where I am going to divide n with 1. 1 is there in the variable c. So I am going to write e, e n percentage c equal to equal to 0. If this condition is true, then you can say who is the factor? You have n is there and c is there. What is this n? n is the given number what is the c c initially one so that means you are dividing the given number with one now if this condition is satisfied that means if n percentage c equal to zero if the condition is satisfied then you can say c is a factor then you can say c is a factor so i got c as the factor then i am going to display that c value c as okay now you are displaying the value c that means c is a factor now the next step you have to increment c as 2 you have to change c as 2 so i am going to change c as to c equal to c plus 1 so present c value is changed to uh, updated to 1 so that means you will get c as 2 so see that where i written this updation updation i just written under the if statement not under the if indentation it is under the while loop indentation. Why if, if I am writing here what happened? Can you assume what, what happened if I am writing over there? So that means the updation of C will be taking place only if the specified condition is true. If n percentage C equal to 0 then only C will be updated. We want to update if the uh, C is a factor or not. Both the case C must be updated. That means C updation must be under the while loop indentation, not under the if indentation. I think all of you understood. If I am writing the updation statement inside the if indentation means that updation will be performed only if C is a factor. We want to generate the numbers from 1 to n minus 1. So, if it is a factor or not, both the case C must be updated to get the next number. That is why C updation are written inside the while loop, why inside the while loop indentation. Now, C is updated to 2, 2 less than or equal to n minus 1, the condition true. Again, you are checking 2 is a factor. If it is a factor, C will be updated. If it is factor or not, both the case C will be updated here. So here C will be displayed. Then C will be updated. Again, this procedure will be repeated. I will take one example. I am going to take the uh, number 50. Initially, C become 1. 1 less than or equal to 49. Condition true. N is 50. 50 minus 1, you will get 49. 1 less than or equal to 49. Condition true. So, you are dividing 50 with 1 n is 50 50 with 1 you will get the remainder as 0 so you are saying 1 is a factor now c is updated to updated by 1 so that means c is incremented to 2 again 2 less than or equal to 49 condition true you are dividing with the 2 and take checking the remainder if it is true that means c will be displayed 2 will be displayed c updated to 3 this procedure will be repeated that is all about the program. Now run this program. You can see the output.
I am going to save this as sample 20, 829. Yes, here error is there. Which part? Yes, I wrote the 50 over there. We can run the program once again. Enter the number. I am going to enter the number 50. Okay. So, see, these are the factors of 50. These are the factors of 50. Just run the program, give different numbers, try out the uh, answers. Now, here I am going to give a message. If I am giving the message inside this while loop, along with this print statement, I am going to give the message factor. Factor message I am going to give inside the while loop. What will happen? See the difference between uh, if I am giving a factor message inside the loop or outside the loop. Now, I am going to run this program. See the output. I, my input is 50 itself. Factor is, factor is, factor is. The message will be repeated. So, that means my message is inside the while loop. Now, I am going to remove that message from here. Here, the message I am not giving. I am just giving only the variable. That means the value, the factors you have to display. Factors you will get only inside the while loop. Now, the message I am going to give outside the while loop. Print factors are, see the message I given here and see the output. Now, the output will be displayed as, it is 50. Check it, you go this way. So, that means the message is displaying only once. I think all of you understood the logic behind how to find out the factors of a given number. Now, we can see the next question. See the next question is this one. It is similar to the one which we discussed just now. Program to input a number and find the sum of the factors of this number. You have to find the sum of the factors of this number. In the previous program, you just display the factors. Here you have to find the sum of the factors. There is only difference. You have to find out the factors and all the factors must be added together. I'll write the program. It is similar to the one which I done it just now. So find the sum of factors. Sum of factors of the given number. I'll remove the coding and then start it from, from the beginning itself. You input the number. Number is there in the variable n. Yes. Next, think about the logic. How do you find out the factors of n? You have to divide n with the 1, 2, 3 till n minus 1. So, factors means this logic should come in your mind. You have to divide n with the 1, 2, 3 till n minus 1. So, you have to start division with 2, 1. So, that one I am going to store inside the variable a is 1. The first value which you want to divide is 1 that is stored inside the variable a. And here you have to find out the sum of the factors. To find out the sum, I am going to use a variable sum whose initial value is 0. This logic I already discussed. So, if you want to find out the sum, initialize a variable with the 0. If you want to find out the product, initialize a variable with the 1. So, there is a common logic you can apply, you can apply everywhere. So, here I want to find out the sum. So, initialize the variable sum with the 0. Now, we want to generate the numbers from 1 to n minus 1. So, that means my while loop is while a less than or equal to n minus 1 while a less than or equal to n minus 1. So, 1 to n minus 1 will be generated by using the loop. I am going to check the condition. What is the condition you have to check? Divide the given number with 1. Divide the given number with 2. Check the reminder. Given number is n. Take the reminder. That means percentage sign. Divide it with 1. 1 is there in the variable a and which is equal to 0. So, that means you are checking whether the given number is divisible with the a or divisible with the 1. If it is 1, then a is a factor. So, uh, we don't want to display. We want to find out the sum. Previous question is display. That is why I use the print statement. Here, you have to find the sum. To find out the sum, I just use the variable sum over there. Sum equal to sum plus sum is 0. 0 plus the first two factor. Factor, first two factor is a. First two factor is a. Now you added the first two factor along with the sum. 
Next, you have to update the variable. Which variable should be updated? The A variable will be updated by 1. It is comes under the indentation of while loop, not under the indentation of if statement. It is coming under the indentation of while loop because if you, if the number is a factor or not, you work the case, you have to update the value of the variable. Now, this will be repeated till n become n, uh, a become n minus 1. Now, the next step, now you got the sum. Now, you got the sum. So, I am going to display the sum, print sum of the factors sum of the factors is how much is the sum of the factors in which variable you find out the sum it is find out find, sum is find out inside the variable sum itself now run the program you can see the output i am going to find out the sum of the factors sum of 50 itself factors sum of the factors of 50 sum of the factors of 50 is 43 just you go and check it manually calculate and check whether it is right or wrong just give another number. I am going to give the number 100. So here it is 100. Sum of factors is 1117. So here I just divide it with the n minus 1. Till n minus 1. You can say n is also a factor. That is, that is the correct uh, information. So here n is if you are saying 50. 50 is also a, uh, also a factor of that same number. If you are saying 25, 25 is a factor of 25. If you want to take the 25 also, then you have to give, instead of giving n minus 1, you have to give n. Understood? So that means if your number is 50, you want to take 50 also as the factor. For every number, 1 and the given number is a factor. Yeah, for every number, 1 and the given number is a factor. So you yeah, are starting with 1. Till, if you want to go till that number, then you have to change the condition as a less than or equal to n. So, see that I am going to run this program. If I am giving this way, then you can give, you will get the answer. My number is 50. So, 50 is also taken as the factor there. Now, you will get 93 as the uh, sum of the factors. That is all about that question. This is the way you can find out the sum of the factors. A less than or equal to n, you are dividing n with a and each time you will get a factor that will be added along with the sum. And finally, you are displaying that sum. So, that is all about that question. I think all of you understood the uh, logic behind how to find out the factors. For the first question also, if you want, you can uh, divide with the given number also. That means you have to change the logic as c less than or equal to n. Instead of n minus 1, you can take n also. So, that is all about that question. So, try out this program. Now, next set of question we can discuss in the next class. Okay. Thank you children.